ambulance ya? Ambulance. 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 Ambulance
Okay. We've still got some in the car. It doesn't help you boost it on the track. You can't put the power down, obviously. What fuel do you use? It's M5. VP M5, that's what we're using. Um, so, yeah, we've changed the box now. It's got a quite full sequential now, air shift, because mm -hmm. we were running out of ratios. So everything's quicker? Well, I hope so. Uh, the previous time we tested it, the fuel pump went out. So it's mm -hmm. got a new fuel pump in it. It seems to be working. Mm. And um, You think that's why Enya was so quiet, because everything just went very quickly? I think so. It felt quite good for me too as well. I, I reached the fifth gear quickly. quite quickly. Yeah. 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 It's obviously all-wheel drive. Do you, yes. have, do you bring in fancy stuff from the Yeah, States? it's got all, all, all forged PP. Well, the previous box was PPG. Mm. Uh, coming back to that, we ran out of ratios at midfall. We're having 10-3 mm. in fourth gear already, 50 meters before the line. We already went into the limiter. That's why we changed to the five-speed box now. Hopefully that will make up. Mm. can pick up our speed a bit. Um, the box now is the ratios. It's good for about a 310 or a 315 maybe. Why did you build an all-wheel drive one? I, I wanted to use it all over because it was a craze at that time in the States and they're flying. Yeah. I mean, they're all doing seven seconds. There's not one slower than a seven seconds in the States. Yeah. Surely we'll be able to get this in a 8.2 maybe, I think, range. I hope so. The current record is, I think, 8.49. Mm. Uh, Jean, Jean has it with the Lancer. It's flying. They did it on yeah. Midval Air as well, anyway. So that's flying. Your car is flying. I think your car's got a lot more in it that, than people assume. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. We no, just got to put it down. Joel knows. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go try to test it out on uh, Sunday. We're testing it out. So fuel pump's going to behave and you've yeah. got the new flippy flappy. We have to hit the 7. No, no not on Midval. No, I don't think so. Okay. You can't put the power down on top. Okay. And that's where we want to put it down and really pick up the speed. I you went down for the second, third now with Annie. It who was said, until who said, who said nothing. Uh, did you go to fifth? Yeah. Okay, she didn't say much. Yeah. How was the traction here now? I didn't have any wheel spin now, but it was a low boost, but I mean, there was no wheel spin. I had to drag it in. I wanted to put it on, but the battery was flat. Yeah. It would have been very interesting though. For sure. So what's next for the car? You're done? Yeah, I'm done. Well, this car we take. Here's, 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 the, here's, the, here's the next point. Standing where it's supposed to be. Yeah, I see that. That's the new challenge. That's where it's supposed to be. Yeah, at Tolta. That's where we're going to try and bang it. Can we go talk to it? Can yeah, we, we can. see it? We will go and talk to her. But <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. What's up with you in yellow? Actually, I think it's just a signature color and it works for me and yellow is fast. Quentin, can we wait a bit? Dab yourself down, brother. <laughs> I'm badly. <but laughs> this is like 35 degrees outside with us. You see our sound is very close here. Yeah, well, I'm also sweating. <laughs> yeah, but you're not in front of the camera. <laughs> what jokes are wet? All right. So uh, yellow, yellow is your color, man. Yeah, it's yeah, it's become like a signature color with mm. the first King K, the front wheel drive and off. We just kept it at it. We kept the King K. Did a little new design. So this is like King K two. If you want to see that, just minimized it, but because this car has such beautiful lines. Yeah. We did, really didn't want to mess it up with, you know, a whole wrap or sticker. This, firstly, this color loves the sun. Yeah, it does, eh? Okay, and this car's got a, well, the body has a bit of history. Where did you find it? This is the ex Lucimo racing body coming from the United States. I think it's about six years or odd back. Mm. I was standing next to this car and finger up. And I said, I'm going to buy this car. And everybody was laughing at me. And yeah, well, eventually dreams come true. If you stick with it, I bought it. It's in South Africa. Chas riding chassis. Uh, yeah, it was a riding chassis. It was an accident damage riding chassis. Mm -hmm. They had an accident with it before they went to uh, Maryland at Orlando. They patched the car up. They went into Maryland World Cup Finals. And they did a record there. Eh? Ran a 668 with it, I think. Mm -hmm. And so that's it. This chassis has gone 668. So you saw it. You bought it. You knew exactly what you were going to do, right? Oh, I thought so at that stage. But, you know, within five years, we changed so many times. We changed our plans. Things changed, but we're still saying K24. Yeah. Nothing funny about it. This is very special. If I can open the door yeah, quickly, yeah, everyone yeah. have a look yeah. inside. So if you guys look inside there, I don't know if this is automatic manual or manual automatic. You call it whatever you want to. Yeah. There's a quick drive unit attached to it in the front. That's a torque converter, which is fully adjustable. Made it to a five speed Liberty Extreme box. So yeah, this is something that's not been done in a four cylinder yet. Hopefully we'll get it right, but we can do the slip and the uh, What's the nitrous for? The nitrous is to spool up the 89 Pro Mod XPR in the front. The 2.4 is a bit small for that. On its own, it will spool it, mm. but we've got we've got a turner torque converter as well. There, we needed to spool well, it. You're it's always planning to go that bigger turbo, though. I was actually planning to go to a 94, but then at that time the rules didn't allow it. Mm. 
Okay. Now the rules have changed again, but I'll put the 89. I think we'll go, we'll go with the 89, especially at our altitude. Uh, tires and weight sits. What suspension? Obviously, it's, it's falling. Is it it's falling? It's strange, yeah. Strange, and it's strange suspension. This is the, you know, the rolling setup is precisely the way it was when Lucy must still had it. We just put some new wheels on it. We've got the RC hammers front and back. Brand new tires. RC hammer or MC? RC. Yeah, MC. No, it's beautiful, though. And what does it weigh? I haven't had it on the scales yet, honestly. I don't think it will be too heavy because it needs to make up for me. How different is this engine? to that engine there in the Civic? This engine at this stage is precisely the same as that. This is still a stock block, stock sleeve. Uh, we've got a billet block, it's standing in the shelf, it's aging. So maybe one day we'll be able to use it if we go back to the States again, where, and we can perform, and we're up there, we'll put the billet block. Your right hand man is chonky, right? That's it. Hercules. 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 Yeah, yeah. They spend countless, and I say countless hours on this car, perfecting it, getting the lines right, with Daniel D standing next to him, with my all my guys at the panel shop, all my guys at my workshop. Yeah. Kudos. No, Thank you. It's beautiful. If it wasn't for it's them, beautiful. this wouldn't have happened. What I like to know is, uh, can you run us through the, the 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 procedure of coming up to the line? I haven't studied it yet. <laughs> can you show us? Yes, you can. Thank you. Okay, so there's the crib notes. For I don't know if you're going to see the back one. The first one. That's right on top. Uh, what does it say there? Start. Most important things, all things start when you start. It's uh, really complicated. There's a huge uh, yeah. sequence about it to get all the right with this whole stuff. We You've never had a car as extreme as this though? No, no, definitely not. High-tech and stuff? No, no, definitely not. We've got laser radites. We've got pressure sensors on the wheelie bars. So, yeah, we've got all the technology behind us. We've got all the support. We need track time. Guys, that's, that's all we need. We need track time so we can get data, so we can get this car flying. That's, that's Who's going to help you with track time and setting up? Uh, Tonki and uh, Martin from MJR yeah, Technologies. Yeah, about Martin. He's Martin is, is my genius. We also lost without him. Yeah. If, if it wasn't for Martin, MJR and Motec, this program wouldn't have happened. Uh, Daniel, let's somehow take it down there. You go here. Oh, I can't. Fabrication. Done by uh, number 45, Mr. Brett van Rooyen himself. A lot of small things. If we look, just look at the call brackets. Yeah, that's nice. MWAS designs, MB Alpha, with a lot of stuff as well. How many injects are joining? Look, eight. Oh, there's eight, you yeah. see there. There's another four at the bottom as well. We're running 12. We're running 12, 2200 Siemens Decas. Wow. Mechanical fuel pump. We don't know come short. The previous time we were at World Cup, we came short with the front wheel drive feeling and we were running eight Siemens Deca with a electronic, electric fuel pump. Okay. We came short on fuel. So we learned a lot of, out of that and we tried to incorporate it here. We got the uh, Ian Ripsol drag racing manifold. Cylinder head? Cylinder head, drag hotel, obviously. That's, mm. that's all I use. Drag hotel, drag hotel cams, drive train, valve train. It's pretty. Like there's so much happening. Um, yeah, there's a lot of details, Joel. You know, I was we were discussing it one day. You really got to sit down and look at the car. You got to just walk past it. But you know, it's just an extension of everybody's personality and passion. So, um, are you looking forward to race at Tolton again? Absolutely. That's absolutely. You, you're here today, this morning. I am. A lot of mm -hmm. changes. A lot of look improvements. At it. Look at this place. Look at the fencing. I mean, look at the painting. The guys are busy painting at the moment. And let me tell you now, guys. The story is going around of grass growing into the track. I just call it bullshit. That's what I'm going to call it today. They are really putting effort into this track. You've got to be positive, stay positive, and I tell you it's going to happen. And I can't wait to test this car at Telton and even that boy. Yeah. All right. Thanks for taking my wife on a joyride. It's only a pleasure. And for not making her scream. Yeah, well, I'll leave that to you. <laughs>